Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at an awesome breakout in the Palantir stock price action. Guys, look at this beautiful move that Palantir did today. So in this video, let's take a look at how we were looking at the things on Palantir in last couple of days. If you have been following my videos, you are already aware about it. But look at this beautiful price action that we are seeing today. If I turn on my easy day and swing trading tool, structure all in all remained bullish and today is giving a, as I said, a really clean breakout. So now, before going further, I also want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice, it's only for education purposes, I'm just sharing here my opinion, nothing more than that. So overall, Palantir direction has remained bullish right now. I do have to adjust something here on my tool because we have some levels to the upside and I wanna bring them into the picture here as well. So let me adjust the timeline here real quick. And let's take it back all the way to the starting and I might wanna actually, um, I think it's fine, yeah. So, well, we are getting to the next level that is $39.22 and after that it opens up the door technically to $45. Is it gonna happen right away? <clears throat> well, if it's in that direction, it's not gonna happen in a day though, but is technically in that direction. So let's go to the hourly interval, right? And I talked about yesterday as well that since we were, let's actually adjust something real quick here on the tool and let's do the intraday depth level medium. And yeah, here we go. So as we talked about yesterday as well, that Palantir, it stayed above yes it dipped below 36 and 38 cents significant level but when it came back up that was it got above 200 hours moving average and i mentioned yesterday that the way it has closed it's more looking like it's just want to continue up and break out to the upside and overall stayed above 200 hours moving average stayed above that also on the daily interval the 20 days moving average over there right and so things still just remained bullish on this thing right and even in the direction right it, it's it didn't even break any 20 days moving average and then we also had a pivot next significant level 37 35 cents stayed above it look at this beautiful price action still just continuing higher we still have higher lows and higher highs and looks like we have a new pivot and is forming a new high so but this is the next level that it's testing the next significant level 39 dollars and 21 cents getting close to that so this is from the back in the times the price action right now yes it's still bullish guys and until where can it stay bullish right now i'm not seeing any signs of downside on this thing i mean you know this is a really clean good breakout any pullback now until this ball in until this level 37 31 cents area to 38 it's just going to be a pullback even if palantir falls down here right it's just going to be a pullback this is a new good support zone and things are looking beautiful so yeah pullbacks are just a buy i mean i i highly suggest take partial profits in the extensions right this is the plan has been with palantir right like let me turn on my easy day and swing trading tool again and i always say that when structure turns bullish especially this works really great on palantir you build your position Stop loss can be below the structure according to your stop losses, right? Below the 20 days moving average or significant level or below the structure especially, right? And then just size out in the extensions, right? Wherever slowness comes and partial profits carry the original position. And for example, in this case, this is where, you know, the position and once things turns red, you can get out fully and wait when the things turns bullish again, right? or cool off completes because technically this was just a pullback right these but these were just a cool off strong cool offs but since the direction still remained higher highs higher lows 50 hours moving average above and everything it's still in the overall you know upside direction but anyways it's still a really good price action on palantir as you know we are talking about it and yeah and let's take a look at the five minutes interval and it's a really good price section on the five minutes interval as well let me turn on my easy day and swing trading too stayed above the cloud uh yes we did have some blips of the sideways action but that's just a cool off when we are above the cloud you know this was a you know push up you know the uh the strong move to the upside right the uh, this is where the confirmation came and even right now yes even those cool off little bit sideways action came but you can see here uh, we are still 
you know continuing higher and guys as i just showed you on the daily interval there is no sign of bearishness you know so when the overall structure is bullish why would you trade downside right you would look for let the cool offs happens on the lower time frame and the structure confirms bullishness just play the direction of the overall structure right anyways great start on the palantir to begin with to even start off the day on this and things on this are still looking super strong as I said, levels to watch are to the upside, right? Um, yeah, and I gave you the pullback zones as well. If those pullbacks happen, right now I'm not seeing any signs of that. I'm on the weekly interval right now, and don't get confused with so many levels, right? Uh, the don't too much worry about it. What you can do is, on the lower on the low volatility stock, you can do significant level depth, maybe medium, or even low based on your taste. But I want to see just don't do in a way that yeah as in the importance that it just takes away everything it depends on how volatile the stock is so i'm just going to keep it medium for now on palantir and you can see on the weekly interval here that seems like it's going for where is that wick coming from that's a glitchy oh no that's my timeline okay this is uh seems like it wanna go to 45 dollars that has been the all-time highs and Yep, it's going to be a type of a chart that fully tests, you know, the double top of the all-time highs of Palantir. Seems like it's going for that. And I also provided you this trend line that even like this has so much room, even if it crashes, it still has a lot of room in the overall structure to still maintain its, you know, upward direction. But, you know, you don't want to be going through that pullback though, right? You want to take partial profits and, and the extensions because you will still have... If the structure changes here near term you can still trade downside but hey there is no structure to the downside things are still bullish super bullish and this thing is looking good it's really in a good upward structure well that's pretty much it for palantir guys i wanted to talk about in this video and if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like subscribe and with that i'll see you in my next videos all right take care bye